Hey guys, welcome to episode number 281. Today is Tuesday, so I have another tank tip for you. Today I wanted to focus on my air pump. Um, this is a linear piston air pump, but everyone has some sort of air pump in their aquarium or in their fish room. And a lot of times what happens is these things get noisy and uh, they cause vibrations. And with something this big, um, it actually causes quite a few vibrations, enough so uh, that it could impact the upstairs uh, because you could potentially hear this pump uh, through the floor. So in order to remedy that, what we've done is a few different things that I want to walk through um, to eliminate the vibrations in this pump and thereby make it as silent as possible so all you can do is hear it when you're right next to it. It is on right now uh, and it is making a little bit of noise. It's not too bad, it's just a little bit of a humming noise but what happens is because there is a piston moving in here uh, there's quite a bit of vibration and when I feel the, uh, the pump housing itself there's a lot of vibration when I feel this stand that it's sitting on there's also a lot of vibration but we wanted to try to stop the vibration right there and make sure it didn't transfer into the the wall make sure it didn't transfer into the floorboards um, so that we wouldn't be able to hear that pump from upstairs and the first thing I did was actually on the stand itself if we look over here um, what you'll see is there is a thin layer of styrofoam um, and I sandwiched that between the stand and the wall and what that's doing is kind of acting as a buffer um, so that I can feel vibration when I touch the, the stand itself here, the wood but when I touch the wall I don't feel any vibration whatsoever so that's effectively canceling all of the, the vibrations um, that are transferring to this stand but of course we also have the uh, the outlet to the pump itself here which travels up along here and then forms the uh, the entire loop around the room and so uh, what also happens is this whole piece of PVC pipe is also vibrating and if you just rely on your typical um, brackets to mount the PVC against the uh, the wood here what you're gonna do is just transfer all of those vibrations to the floorboards and that's gonna travel up to the floor and you can actually feel the vibration from the first floor um, so one thing you can do is actually use uh, vinyl tubing and uh, use a, a qu quite a long run of something like that to, uh, to try to mitigate some of the vibration um, coming out of the pump itself. Right here I have a small piece. I probably could have used a larger piece and it would have canceled some of that vibration. Um, but I did decide to use a solid piece for most of it. Two other things that I did do here to uh, cancel some of those vibrations is I used um, some insulation um, that typically goes on your copper pipes uh, and just kind of sandwich that to keep the the, uh, the PVC pipe away from the uh, the boards themselves and that does quite a good job I can kind of I can feel here and there's no vibration I can feel up here and there is vibration so uh, that's doing a pretty good job of canceling that out and one other tactic that I use that I'll share over here is kind of what a lot of people recommend um, at least with smaller pumps is suspending it um, so that it's not touching anything so that it's just hanging in the air and with small pumps what some people do is just uh, you know suspend it with rubber bands suspend it in a nylon stocking and uh, therefore it's not touching any part of the tank any part of the stand and it's not causing any vibrations um, what I did here was I took a zip tie um, that has the screw hole um, in it and I zip tied the, uh, the PVC pipe here. Um, this corner was actually causing most of my vibrations and uh, instead of using that metal connector I just used this zip tie and uh, zip tied it to the floorboard there 
um, so that I, I can touch this and there's quite a bit of vibration but then I touch the floorboard itself and there's absolutely no vibration so um, that's kind of how I've done it down here it's kind of a mix of media in terms of what I've used to attach uh, all of the piping and the pump itself to the walls and the floors um, over here on the far side of this run there's no vibration whatsoever so none of that is getting transferred um, to the floor basically the only vibration is uh, you know on the stand itself here and on the PVC pipe here for about 8 to 10 feet uh, in either direction but all of that or almost all of that has been completely mitigated down here and uh, we don't hear that unless we're standing right next to it anyways guys hope that helped I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later